Prim's algorithm, there are two ways of working it out, matrix method and also by looking at the graph. The graphical method is shown in a different video, this one is going to be on the matrix method. When using the matrix method for Prim's algorithm, the main difficulty is in making sure that you're considering all of the relevant columns. The first thing that we do is select our starting vertex. I'm going to choose C for this one. So what we do is we cross out the row for the chosen vertex. We then circle and number the column heading. So there's C, and that's the first one I'm choosing. Now we find the minimum weight that hasn't been deleted under that column. So on the C column, that's the 3. I circle that. That's in F. I'm going to cross out the rest of the F row. Circle the F part. That is number 2. And I'm then going to look down the columns C and F to find the minimum value. Well, there's two 4s. I'm going to choose this one first of all. So that's D. Repeat the process. Cross out the row. Select D. That's the third one I've chosen. I'm now looking down the columns C, D and F to find the minimum weight one. That's this 4 here. That's in E, so I cross out the E row. Circle E. That was the fourth one I chose. I'm now looking down columns C, D, E and F to find the minimum undeleted one. That's a 6. That's in B. Cross out B. Circle it at the top. That was number 5 chosen. And I'm now looking under columns B, C, D, E and F to find the minimum undeleted one. And that's this 7 here. So I cross that out, which is in A. Circle A, number 6, and we're done. We've chosen all of the vertices. We can now read off from our table to find out exactly which edges we've used. So going through them um, from the top row downwards, we have this value here, this is the 7. This is connecting from A to D. So that one has been used. So A to D, I can mark that on my diagram. The next one connects B and C, connecting that one. Then we have D and C, that's there. E and F is that one. And lastly, F and C. And there we have our minimum spanning tree. And that's all we need to do for the Prim's matrix method. For small graphs, takes ever so slightly longer than the graphical method that was shown in the other video. For very large graphs, this is often by far the quickest way of doing it.